Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this article comes to you guys from SDX Central. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So I think as Verizon transitions now and makes these wholesale changes, as the new CEO called it, we, we really have to wait a little and, and fully see this transition take place before we can give further opinion. But what I will say, and what the CTO of Verizon is talking about here, Ver Verizon CTO states that he's talking about going into 6G, we have to learn from 5G. I think one thing that we can all agree on, Verizon is going to invest in the network, regardless of changes that are coming, regardless of moves they make, they're going to continue to invest into the network. What I feel um, the problem is, and it's not really a problem, but I think the networks now are moving faster and advancing faster than ever before. And even even faster than what we witnessed during LTE. During LTE, you still had to truck roll the sites. You still had to replace radios that took physical work and took time. Now, as these networks are becoming more software based and, and eventually they move into the cloud, the networks are going to be able to be upgraded faster than ever before. And I think we're going to hit a point where the networks are going to advance critically quicker than any device support. So if you're an iPhone user and you update, you upgrade every two to three years, you're gonna be severely behind the technology movement and advancements that these networks are going to make, especially going into 6G. If we're talking about AI RAN and, and, and everything being uh, software and cloud-based, you're gonna be behind big time. Um, your phones, don't get me wrong, your phones are still going to work, but you're not going to be able to take advantage of what's on air and the advancements technology-wise that the networks have been making. And that's that's what he's talking about in this article. And the other carriers are saying the same thing. We're in the middle of 5G, and we still really don't have a use case. There's nothing new today that we couldn't do during LTE. FWA is just a capacity play, right? That's monetizing. But other than that, there isn't much else. So just thought I'd talk about that. Like, share, subscribe.